I do a little now. Now that I'm like a, you know, a character, like the Flash and Lex, you kind of have to delve into that every once in a while. You know what? The uh, I leave that up to the creators, Alan Miles Miller. They uh, they know everything there is, and I just trust them. You know, they're writing, and I question them. I'm like, what, what's with the black glove and that one dream sequence that Lex has? And they're like, well, he has kryptonite poisoning later on. And I'm like, oh, they apparently know their stuff, so I rely on them for my knowledge. I, uh, I had done three other shows for the WB. I think four, four is a charm, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> it's three. I did uh, the Tom show with Tom Arnold, which no one saw. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did uh, Zoe, Duncan, Jack, and Jane, th then became Zoe, then became George, Frank, and all in the family. And then uh, I did a pilot for them called Fresh Meat as a favor, and that didn't get picked up, and then uh, this came along. God, the audacity of these, you know, people during an interview yelling and screaming. <laughs> I, uh, no, so I, I got a chance to... Uh, you know, they were auditioning a lot of people, and when you, when you see somebody, I guess, you know, the casting directors, a lot, a lot of times in Hollywood, they think, uh, oh, he's comedy, he's funny guy, he's, he's this. So they think Lex Luthor, the thing's serious and dark and ambiguous, and, you know, I was probably the last person they thought of. And then uh, 800 people later, they're like, yeah. So uh, they said, look, let, let him, I want, we want to meet with him, the producer said. So I said, okay. And I go, well, what, what are 800 other guys doing wrong? I'm not just going to go in there and... So I go, we're looking for this, we're looking for this, we're looking for this charisma, we're looking for charm, uh, you know, that devious side. Uh. So I went in there and I just, it was one of those days I was having a good day. I had a V8 in the morning and I woke up, I knew my lines inside out and I got in there and I just, I nailed it. And they're like, yeah, Michael, that, that was it. We want to test him. And my agents played hardball. I go, oh, he's not testing. No, oh, you have him on videotape, rewind the freaking camera, all right? Rewind the tape if you want to see his performance again. So they, uh, they made me an offer, and then next thing I know, I'm shaving my head in Vancouver, Canada, and living alone on the water. But anywho, things could be worse. Yeah, you know, that was funny. That was my, I lo I'm a diehard horror fanatic. I mean, huge Bruce Campbell fan, Raimi fan, love Evil Dead, you know, love Peter Jackson, all this stuff. And, uh... When I auditioned for this horror movie, I'm like, I want to do a horror movie and in this audition for Urban Legends, so I just, uh, I had to do a horror movie. I was kind of upset because if you watch the trailer, it, it looks like it's my movie. You look at it, you go, this guy is the lead in the movie. And then they cut, like, all my scenes. And, you know, I have a few in there. I have a good death scene. Yeah. But, you know, it's all about climbing the ladder for me. Everything has been a, you know, the next step. Or you just stay on that step for a few years, you know, <laughs> and then you move up. So it's been... It's been good, and Smallville's definitely, you know, obviously I'm, I'm getting better and better, higher and higher, so. And Sorority Boys, it was a relapse, you know, it was a, you know, I, I fell down a few steps, but I got back up. Sorority Boys was funny. You get yourself Did you like it? I, 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 I liked it. I, I, was, I enjoyed it. I am not uh, embarrassed by it. I... I had a lot of fun with Barry and Harlan. And, uh, Especially with the uh, sword fight? Yeah, the sword fight with some dildos. <laughs> we were in drag the whole movie. We, we had a blast. It was one of the most uh, memorable experiences of my life. But uh, unfortunately, they put us against the Oscars Final Four, Evil Dead, or uh, Resident Evil, E.T., uh, Ice Age, uh, and the list goes on. We didn't have much of a chance. Bad marketing on Disney's behalf. You could print me on that. Uh, you know, I had a voiceover agent in L.A., and uh, I was doing a lot of voiceovers in New York. When I moved to L.A., you have to kind of get, get to know the casting directors. Well, I didn't know any of them. So one, one day, Andrea Romano, she's a producer of Warner Brothers Animation, she's won some Emmys for her work on Batman Beyond, she called, uh, she called my agent and said, do you have any guys that could do this voice? We, this guy left, and we need a replacement on Batman Beyond. So she calls me and goes, have you ever done animation? I'm like, no. I flew down to the studio. I did a voice, they loved it, and they started calling me back, and I started doing more and more. Got a series called The Zeta Project. So they started to know me, Bruce Tim knew me from Batman Beyond, he then asked me to audition for Flash, put my voice on tape, and I booked it, and actually now I'm the Flash in the Justice League.
I want to direct eventually. I've been writing, I wrote a couple of scripts. You oh. laughing? That seems to be the stock answer. Really? Yeah. I do, I want to direct, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laughing at me. I'm laughing with you. He, yeah, he wants to be a cameraman, but he's, he's got a cord on a fucking mic that I'm holding over here. <laughs> Because that doesn't pick up this crap as much as that mic does. Oh, really? I'm just playing with you. Oh, anyway. cool. <laughs> uh, what was the question? Uh, you know, what do you want to do? You said you want to direct. Yeah, I want to direct. I want to, uh, you know, I want to obviously do other roles other than Lex Luthor. I mean, this I, uh, this past summer I did uh, on my hiatus. I did this movie with Steve Martin, so they made me a wig. I played this lawyer. I like to do that. I like to throw on a wig, change my appearance, put on a mustache. Um, no, I just, I appreciate everybody watching Smallville and those, those people who have uh, found the time to watch movies like Sweet November and Urban Legend and Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil that I've been in and said, hey, I saw you in that, great work, you know, and those people have followed me and continue to do so and this is just the, this is just the beginning, so... Uh,